Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today I'm going to try to upload in the morning and in the evening, because I haven't had time to uh, record um, my Boruto review, because I have had people coming over to my house recently to work on putting granite countertops in my house, or rather in my kitchen, so I just don't feel comfortable recording with any of them around, especially because uh, yesterday they actually had to come in my room to do some electrical work with uh, the thing or what. I don't really know what they call it, but they had to turn off some switches that are in my room. They had to go in and out and shit like that. So I, I couldn't really record in the past couple of days. I apologize. But to make up for that, I'm going to post this in the morning, uh, sometime around near the morning or early afternoon. And then when uh, the episode for Super comes out uh, later tonight, I'm going to record that and upload that later tonight. But let's go ahead and get into the review. Basically, the episode starts off with all the Academy students trying to control their chakra and put it up to their feet. So that way they can actually be able to walk on water, essentially. And I find this kind of weird and awkward because they had already practiced how to do it on walking on walls. But for some reason they simultaneously don't know how to do it by doing it on water. I don't I, I understand the difference between it, but I feel like them being able to not walk on water like how they do with being able to walk on walls is kinda awkward. But this is a, a Sarada episode, I forgot to mention. Uh the title for this episode is uh Run Sarada, it's episode seventeen and I'm probably gonna be all over the place just like how the episode was because it's a, it's a sour to filler episode before all the Gaiden uh, stuff starts uh, hopefully next week. That's what I heard recently. So the episode shifts off to sour to picking up groceries, I guess, and returning home. She meets up with Boruto, Shikadai, Inojin, and Dinky, and they're on the train. They're going out uh, to actually go fishing because Dinky has never fished before. And sour to her character is just how she's very proper and she she thinks it's like childish i i guess I, I i i don't i don't know really but she has to go home get dinner ready she goes home you know and i find this kind of hilarious because the whole time uh when sakura is actually on screen because she is in the episode i guess it's a sarada episode sakura returns home doing whatever the hell she needed to do right but i find this really hilarious because for some reason, they the writers decided to make Sarada a better parent than Sakura because Sarada was actually preparing the dinner and everything, and then Sakura was just like, "Yeah, do this," but then Sarada was like, "No, w whatever." Right? The whole purpose with uh, Sakura being in the episode is that she's actually going on vacation with Eno for like a day, and that's kind of it. But, um, she's going on vacation with Eno for, like, a day or whatever. It was kind of weird. The intro goes in, whatever. You listen to that, and you have fun with it. And then Sakura is immediately getting ready to go leave on her vacation. Uh, she's starting to go head out through the front door. Uh, and then it ends up, it ends up being basically a delivery mission for Sarada, where she has to take this, uh, cloth, I guess and then go to the hospital and deliver uh, this teddy bear over to this little girl that's in the hospital. And the whole time, you know, she's trying to find it because she actually ends up losing it on the, on the train. And it was really weird. I was left watching the episode uh, to the very end, wondering if I either hate or like Sarada's character, or if I just hate the episode. I don't really know, but it, it was kind of weird. So she gets on the train, she accidentally leaves the package on the train, and then she has to go to this next station in order to beat the train so she can get on it and then get the package and then leave over to the hospital. So she planned on uh, crossing over a couple of buildings. But then she's like, no, that's much, that wouldn't be any different from Boruto. And I was just like, why? What, 
what kind of problem is there? Why why is that a problem? You're you're a ninja. Like who cares? I I, I don't know. She's Shizune pops up uh, because she lives there. I guess I didn't know that. It was kind of like an awkward moment between Shizune and Sarada. She leaves, and then she's trying to catch her to, to, catch her to the train. Doesn't doesn't make it, or she does make it, but it leaves, and then she has to do what she didn't do in the beginning of the episode, and get on the train. But the four guys that we were just talking about earlier, Boruto, Denki, Inogen, and Shikadai, are there, and then they go on top of the train to look for Sarada because uh, Shikadai thinks that he spotted her, and then she's just kind of hanging off to the fucking train. So that happens. Uh, and then Shoujo actually meets up with Sarada and is just like, you're so proper and everything. I was actually glad that you were doing whatever the hell you were doing. They go to Lost and Found and then for some reason, someone left the exact same cloth material on the exact same train that looked like the exact same thing that Sarada had lost. It felt really forced. A lot of stuff that happened in this episode was very, 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 very forced, it felt like. So they go to this marketplace, talk to a fortune teller or whatever. I don't know. They get information about, like, this voodoo doll that they found from the Lost and Found. About, like, a ceremony from the village hidden in the waterfall. Uh, they leave, go to it, and then before we actually... Uh, we get to see Sarada and Shoujo go over there, we do get a see we get we do get to see a scene of Sakura and Eno over at the location that's special to S Sakura specifically, but I wanna point this out. Uh the first frame that we see of Shizune, uh she used to be flat chested but now she has boobs. It's weird. And then I, I don't I don't know who decided on um the art team over <laughs> over who animated this episode or whatever they decided to make Eno have ridiculously larger breasts or boobs for some reason I don't you have to watch the episode they're a lot bigger than what they were previously it was kind of ridiculous and almost kind of distracting at the same time it was whatever but the location that Sakura and Eno are at it was basically the quote first date that Sakura had went on with Sasuke and that's why it's special to her and Eno just leaves I don't know why and then it goes it goes to fade to black and I was like because <laughs> Sakura was like I wonder what Sasuke is doing and I was like oh are we, gonna get, are we gonna get to see Sasuke in the episode I was like begging for it and it didn't fucking happen I got pissed off uh, old lady with the teddy bear throws it into the river for the ceremony. Sawada has to go walk on water to get it. She gets it, throws it to Chocho, and she falls in the water. And then what do you know, Shikadai, Inojin, Denki, and Boruto are there. Sawada uh, comes out of the water all serious and pissed off saying like, it's hot. I went for a swim because it's hot, all very serious. And she kind of seemed pissed off, I guess, trying to make it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal. And then they awkwardly and cautiously say like okay fine whatever because it was kind of weird Sarada delivers the fucking teddy bear over to the little girl and then that's the end of the episode Sakura goes home and yeah that's it end of the episode uh, one thing I do want to mention that happened uh, towards like the middle of the episode was when Sakura was leaving uh, she, she asked Sarada if she wanted anything and then Sarada actually replies with a dad <laughs> and then Sakura is just like can you not do that <laughs> I thought I thought it was like awkward and kind of annoying but then it's like I can relate to that I don't know a dad who cares or is around so yeah <laughs> I, I can relate I guess What whatever that was the episode Extremely filler, like how it was supposed to be. It, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I hear that uh, next week we're going to have all the Gaiden stuff um, around happen. Uh, it's going to hopefully be interesting because I do hear that uh, the novels or the Gaiden was really good. So I only hope to enjoy it uh, and 
uh, as an animated um, thing. So, whatever. That's the end of the episode, and that's also the end of the video. If you guys in enjoyed, I guess, I leave a like. Overall, I, to be, I'm going to be fair and give it like a 3 out of 5, even though I didn't really enjoy watching it halfway towards the episode. It just felt very, very forced, and there was a little bit of sloppy animation art style in the episode, but it's not entirely noticeable. But, you know, it's filler. What are you, what are you gonna do, really? It's filler, but I, I, I guess it's kind of whatever. You can completely miss out on it without really missing out on anything but the only reason why this episode would have any importance is literally just to get into the character and the mannerisms of Sarada and see how she is before we actually get out into all the guidance stuff because this next arc is basically going to be centered around like Sarada and that's going to be that that whole big arc and stuff like that but it's whatever. I didn't hate the episode, but I didn't like it either, which is why I gave it like a 3 out of 5. But whatever, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here before this video ends up becoming a lot longer than what it's supposed to be. If you guys enjoyed the, the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this. And like I said, I will hopefully be able to put out a video later tonight, but if I don't, uh, it'll just come out tomorrow, hopefully. So, anyways, uh, uh, like, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day. Uh, peace out. See you later.